How about we do an SWR meter comparison today? How's it going guys? Corey the random guy here with you today. Wishing everybody a happy Easter. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter with your family. Today we're going to be showing you two different meters. But before we begin this video, I'd like you guys to keep liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, hitting that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Don't forget, also, we still have a P.O. box for the channel. Addresses for the P.O. box will be in the description below and the About tab of the channel. So without further ado, let's get into the comparison tests. You guys remember this meter here. It is the Workman 104. This was my first VHF UHF meter. I thought it was a good bargain. 40 bucks, I think, is what I paid for it. It seemed a little odd to me that the whole VHF spectrum would be clear, way down, unrealistic, perfect match across the whole band, but yet UHF was extremely high and it didn't matter. So I did some searching and researching on this Workman 104, and it turns out that a lot of times that these meters just don't accurately read SWRs. There's even some of them out there that don't even read power accurately. I went ahead and I bought a Surecom SW33. A lot of ham guys use it, a lot of GMRS people use it. I'm gonna be getting my GMRS license soon, so this is gonna be perfect for checking SWRs on different antennas. I am going to be testing on VHF MERS, and I am going to be testing on UHF FRS. Testing purposes only, especially on FRS. We are going to hook both meters up to the outside antenna to do a comparison and we're going to see how they stack up against each other. First one is going to be the Workman 104. So I'm going to go ahead, set it, show you guys that it's set, and then we're going to do the SWR test. So we're going to start out MERS Channel 2, Rubber Ducky Antenna, Workman 104 with the TID Radio UV5R. It is set. Let's see what the SWRs. MERS 2, here we go. barely move. So now let's jump over to FRS low power. I'm going to set the SWRs again, show you guys. It is set. This is on FRS 8. Again, testing purposes only. Let's go SWR with the rubber ducky antenna. Let's see what we get. Holy crap. Over 10. Not kosher at all. You guys are going to be surprised at this next one. The Surecom SW33 does not have to be calibrated each time. It does it on its own. Now in the instructions, it does say that you have to put your hand around it like this in order to get an accurate SWR reading, especially if you're testing these, because this antenna has to have a ground plane. And how it gets its ground plane is using you as a ground plane. And I will show you the difference when your hand is on it versus away from it. So again, we're going to start out MERS 2. It is set SWR, and I will do another video showing more in depth of this meter soon. Hand on the meter. 2.8 or 2.6, I guess is what it says. Kind of hard to see it on the camera. Now, let's do it without my hand. Not much of a difference, but there is a difference. So now let's go to FRS low power and see what the SWRs are. Hand first, let's see. FRS 8, low power. Okay, 2.4. Way radical difference between the Workman and this one. Now, let's see what happens when I pull my hand away from it. About a 4.9, but it is higher. I have actually seen it as high as seven. What does that tell us? That tells us that if you guys get into GMRS or even ham bands or whatever, and you guys are looking for an SWR meter that'll do really well with these, go with the Surecom first. That Workman, I hate to say it Workman, but your guys' meter sucks. I'm gonna be brutally honest. So let's do a, another comparison side by side to the outside antenna with both those meters and see what they say. I now have the Surecom hooked up to the outside antenna. Again, we're gonna start out with MERS 2. Let's see what the SWR 
reads. Since this is an outside antenna, I do not have to put my hand around it. We'll go ahead and do a comparison just to see what it does. Hand first, key up MERS 2, 2.0. Now, let's see what it does without my hand. Again, 2.0. That is the outside antenna on MERS. FRS, low power, experimental only. Hand, 1.01 to 1. Without hand, again, 1.01 to 1. So perfect match for the FRS GMRS frequencies, which is good because a GMRS license with a base antenna, I should be able to hit repeaters from here. So what did we learn? Well, my advice to anybody who's getting into GMRS or even getting their ham uh, for two meters and 70 centimeters, go with a Surecom. That's what I would do. These are well known for being accurate. Now, as far as the Surecom goes, I will do another video just to kind of show you guys the quirks. I mean, I'm, there's hundreds of videos out there, so I'm not going to get into too technical information on it, but I'm going to kind of show you what it does and so that you guys can see for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is 309 Central Iowa signing off saying Happy Easter. Until next time, guys, see ya.